What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Angela Eats TV. Hashtag Piggy Pellets. Note to self, don't hurt yourself. Well, this is a seafood boy, y'all. And we are also doing a challenge um, with, um, Ace Eats. with Ace Eats and a collab between her and Shanette Nicole called Kiss or dismiss dismiss okay dismiss okay okay so let's go ahead and say grace so we can get started father god in the name of jesus one thank you for this meal that we have have prepared i ask that you let it be nourished into our body look upon the land and bless those that do not have this i pray in jesus name amen amen and amen to you amen everybody and on that note pause if you don't have a snack Go get your snack and come right on back. Okay? Okay. Yes, yeah, so um kiss or dismiss. Yeah, go on and eat, chat. Let's eat first before we do the challenge. Okay, okay. We can take some bites. Okay, we can take some bites. But um Yo, know, I've been waiting on a seafood boil for like two, three months. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have um some oyster Rockefellers right here. Okay, it has some spinach and some cheese in it. We got some uh, jumbo shrimps here, some uh, crab legs, some garlic knots, some mussels, and um, we got some uh, uh, Nini Eats butter sauce noodles down there, and we got her butter sauce right here on the side. Shout out to Nini Eats ASMR. Um, her link will be in the description box below. How is it, baby? Very good. It's very good. Very good. Ooh, look at there, y'all. Here we go. These are uh, the butter sauce noodles. I'm going to just dip some more in there. And then I have poured some juice um, all over the noodles right here as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big noodle lover. You like them? Mm -hmm. I like them. I like the brand. Um, I can't remember who told me to get this brand. But I'm more into the... Um, I like to go to the restaurant and get the restaurant version of the noodles. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got some mussels. We'll just put those right there. Dip it in that sauce. Ooh, I forgot to get the lemon. But mm -hmm. I did squeeze lemon over everything. Can you taste it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Just put all the stuff on her side, y'all. <laughs> huh? Just put all the stuff on your side. Mm -mm, it's all in the middle. Mm-hmm. So how is everybody doing today? How are you doing? I want one of these. <clears throat> Y'all take a look at these oysters. Look at that. Don't that look good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That butter sauce is good. Come on, oyster. I want all that. Mm -hmm. that cheese, spinach, dip it in that sauce. Girl! Girl who loves your mama? <laughs> I showed you. Hmm? I said, I showed you. You said, who loves your mama? I said, who loves you, mama? Oh, they said, who loves your mama? Mm. <laughs> I 
but thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, those oysters are good. Mm hmm. Mm. We got the clams. Those are mussels. Oh, got the mussels. Mm hmm. You still on the clock? Mm -mm. So let me get into this. Um, Smash. Excuse me. Kiss or this. Kiss or this. So I'm gonna show you some pictures. Mm -hmm. I found a TikTok compilation of um, black celebrities, black male celebrities. Mm. Mix it up. I like white boys too. I just found this one. Somebody use this one. I don't. I don't know what celebrities. I really don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Ready? Let me try to Uh-huh. All right, first up, I think everyone's gonna know who this is. We got Criminal Mind star, Slot star, uh, Medea, Mad Black Woman star, Shamar Moore. He's probably in a lot more things, but that's what I know him from. Kiss or dismiss? I think I'll dismiss him. I'll show you. Maybe like that. Dismiss? Mm -hmm. Why? Because looks ain't everything. And there's just something missing, boo. I'm sorry. Girl. Mm -mm. I guess. You like what you like? Who's that? Look at it. It's timed out. Oh. I don't know who all these people are. I don't know actors by names. I think this is Denzel Washington. Oh, that's a damn show kissing. That's Denzel Washington, baby. That's a kiss. I would kiss him. It's just flaking out. Huh? So this is just flaking out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I told you I deshelled everything and stuffed it back in there. Did you oh, hear me when I said that? I didn't know that's what deshelled meant. I thought you were just opening up the show before you cooked it. So it would, like, come out easier. Uh, okay. Well, um, I was trying to take it out <laughs> whole, but it just didn't work out that way. Next on the list. Who's that? Kevin Hart. That's a dismiss. <laughs> He's funny. So what that got to do with kissing it? Okay, so let me get this straight. You said it's not all looks. Mm -hmm. When someone has a good personality and they're funny. Kevin Hart is cute. Okay. I didn't say the man wasn't good looking. So what? what's going to give you to kiss somebody? I got to understand that. I like what I like. And it's all about a person's energy. Okay. Kevin Hart is on good energy. His energy is is fine for him. It's not for me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He all right. Don't get me wrong. I ain't hating no on Kevin Hart. Then we got some sausage down here somewhere. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. I don't think you know any of these people. Let me see. Okay. Next. That's a... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock? <laughs> Why? Would you kiss or dismiss The Rock? I'd kiss him. Okay. I ain't asking you why. No, that's a dismiss for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let me <laughs> don't leave nobody out and if you don't know their name or know them I might who's that? T.I. 
<laughs> I like a little rub neck. I might kiss him. <laughs> a rub neck. Mm, yeah, a little rub neck. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, yeah. T.I.'s a rough neck to me. What's a rough neck? Oh, don't worry about it. Take too much time. <clears throat> okay. A rough neck is like my neighbor upstairs. That you think is so cute. I don't think he's cute. Yes, you no, Oh, no. my gosh. Yes, you did. I remember I told you. I saw his face. He's not cute. Mm -hmm. His hair. But once I saw his face, he's not cute. Mm, okay. Mm -mm. He ain't cute. At all. At all. All right. Old school photo. Oldie but goodie. Who was that? Soup dog. Soup. Would I? <laughs> Kiss or dismiss? I think that's a dismiss. Dismiss? Mm-hmm. Okay. I hope it's on some other folks. So mm-hmm. But I want to thank everybody for being here today. And joining <laughs> us. All right, we got first. Sorry. Oh, wait. Go ahead. Shout out to um, Ace East and Jeanette Nicole. Again, this is the Kiss or Dismiss Family and Friends Edition. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. May Room for More. Shout out to Gramita Love. Okay. Oh. She, she like white boys too. Of course I do. I like all men. <laughs> we got Jim Carrey. Dismiss. Okay. He got beady eyes. Adam Sandler. Dismiss. He ain't got no lips. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got Harry Styles. Dismiss. James Franco. Kiss. What about you? Dismiss. What about <laughs> Harry Styles? Kiss. What about that um, Adam Shadler? Dismiss. Who was that, Jim Carrey? Dismiss. We got Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, <laughs> get out my bed, y'all. <laughs> Dismiss. Are you sure? Shoot, yeah. <laughs> Tom Cruise? Dismiss. Okay, so what is it giving? <laughs> There's a lot more actors than just them. Okay, um, what about, ooh, excuse me. Um, what about James Arnett? I don't know who that is. Kiss, Kiss, Festus. What is Festus' name? Um, With his whiskers and all, I would kiss fastest. I don't know who that is. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? You got something on your nose, girl. Please tell me. You got noodles on your nose. You see? But I hope everybody is doing well, and I am doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you today, Phoenicia? I'm doing good. You're doing good? It's almost Friday. <laughs> almost Friday? Yes, hump day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Those garlic knots are good, too. 
Mm-hmm. Get a little chewy. A little crispy. That's you two for two for, with the bread. <laughs> I don't think so. It was hard yesterday. It's kind of hard today, too. I guess they just got cold. Okay, well. Mm-hmm. Next time I just grab a couple of slices of bread and butter it up. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you who I kiss. <laughs> I don't gotta look him up. <laughs> Clay Thompson, kiss. Devin Booker, kiss. Who is that? These are basketball players. <laughs> um, actors, if you watch All American, um, Daniel Ezra, kiss. Jordan Baker, I already think his name is like Michael, Michael something, but I'm gonna give you the their character names and yeah. Uh, Jordan Baker, kiss. Um, Spencer James, oddly kiss, but he's not my type. Would you say oddly? Yeah. What does that mean, oddly kiss? And I said, oddly enough, he's not my my type, but I kiss him. Um. Um. What are actors? And Station 19, Sullivan, kiss. Gibson. Ooh, girl, so damn. Okay, so let's let's actually let's talk about that because Sullivan looks exactly like Shamal Moore, but but Sullivan got a different aura. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I know Shamar Moore is in... No, no. They are two different men. Girl, we can can watch SWAT. No, I've seen Criminal Minds. I'm talking about... But he is... They they play the exact same character. I cannot help that. There's a different... That makes no sense to me. They look exactly the same. No, they do not. (laughs) You are not looking. No, you're not looking. You just keep on breathing. You'll get there. I'm not looking. You just keep on breathing. But Sullivan, yes. Keep it going. Gibson, yes. Gibson, Gibson. The one who's with the mom with the deaf child? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Ripley? Which one is Ripley? He was the chief that died. The white chief that was with Hughes. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> kiss him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miller? Miller, Miller, Miller. The one who just died? No. i kiss him. I wouldn't. Um, he, he's, he looked like he's slobber. He got good lips, but they a little too big. Okay. Um, It'd be all up in here. Who else is going to miss The gay one? The gay guy? Mm-hmm. But he wouldn't want to kiss me. Travis. It's probably not gay in real life. It could be. They spend way too much time kissing. Not to be gay in real life. Oh, acting. It's called <laughs> I kiss anybody for four hundred fifty thousand dollars an episode. <laughs> would I? I actually don't think I would. <laughs> I don't think I would. I, that <laughs> I don't think I would. Woo! No. Did you say four hundred and fifty thousand dollars an episode? That's how much. Um. Oh my gosh, Angela. Angela Bassett makes. On 911, she makes $450,000 per episode. I have a million dollars per episode, but she ain't kissing women. No, she's the most the most paid black actress in history. For uh, 911. No, but what are these called? Um, are these reality shows or what? They're just dramas. Dramas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She makes money. Well, you know, actually, last you know, two summers ago, uh-huh. I visited my friend, and he had, or he lived at like a like smack down middle downtown um, Los Angeles, and we went onto his balcony and looked down, and there she was. 
she was filming an episode of 911. She was like, Angela, Angela. She, she looked up and waved her hands. You never told me that. Yeah, it seemed insignificant, but now, I mean, yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Who's the most famous person you've ever met? Jesus. Okay. Okay. Most famous living person. <laughs> um. Do you guys, if you're a basketball fan, but this is the only person that can come to mind, that comes to mind. Do you know who, um, Lord, <sighs> Dennis Green. I met a Boston Celtic. He sounds familiar. Dennis Green. Do you guys remember who Dennis Green is? I've seen him. Um, I was 16, 17 years old, mm -hmm. and I was working at the movie theater in uh, Riverside. Riverside, California. Mm -hmm. Riverside, California. And I was working at the concession stand, and him and his wife came in to watch a movie. And I waited on him. I had slot sneaking and everything. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That I was so excited, my nose started running. Um, got it. Mm. Most famous person I've ever met. I've actually met quite a few famous people. Living in Southern California, or living in San Diego, being able to go up to like LA, you get, there's a lot of um, connections. Mm -hmm. But I can say the most famous, and it's odd. It was a really weird one. I was in middle school. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so I've met an NBA player um, from the Sacramento Kings through my job. I don't think he's famous though, I think he's just, you know, I think he's a basketball player, but he's not famous by any means. He's just a bench warmer. No, he plays. He's just, or just, I don't think, I wouldn't consider him famous. He's just an athlete. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like widespread like notoriety and people knowing them, it would be um, a housewife. Housewife of New Jersey, if you guys watch it. I met Teresa. Shut up. Mm -hmm. I was in middle school. Me and my friend Ashley. Oh, wait, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, we were at the mall. I remember you telling me that. We saw a lady in a, in a like, a all red suit and high heels, middle of the day, just walking through the mall. <coughs> Excuse me. So we walked over, we got closer. I said, wait, that's Teresa. <laughs> we went over and said hi, and she was really nice. Yeah, that was in San Diego. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've actually met Zendaya too. So Zendaya would be more famous. Who's that? She's a actress. She plays, I don't know if her name is Jane in the Spider-Man series now, but she's dating Tom Holland. Okay, let's not even say that. She's an actress, yes. She was in Shake It Up on Disney. Now she's in a bunch of movies. Malcolm and Marie on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Such a good movie. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's such a good movie. You should watch that. What's that? It's like a silent, I don't know if you like it. So it's a silent black and white film. And Malcolm is like a, he is a fate or well-known writer. He just got his big break on a movie he wrote about Marie, which is Zendaya's role. Mm -hmm. And the, the movie takes place in one night and it's like a drama, like not musical, but like, basically it tells a story of like why the relationship is so broken. But it's so artistically like driven. It's it's beautiful. It's like a, it follows one argument all night. It's a like a ten hour argument. So what did um they got um caption? No, they talk. They do talk, but it's just like they they are. She's a writer and she's an artist. Like she's a um, a creative as well. Mm -hmm. So they talk in parables, kind of. Or like they talk in like. I don't know, like a a certain lingo. 
you have to really watch it to pay attention. It's not something you can like put on and like, you know, scroll on your phone. Like you have to pay attention Mm -hmm. because the details matter. And it's just kind of like you look at their, the way that they're speaking, the way that their their body language, like all of the the non-verbal communication. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. With Zendaya. (laughs) All right. Well, that was fun. This was delicious. Did you enjoy it? I did. You got plenty of leftovers. Um, I do not see myself cooking tomorrow. Um, And thank you for tagging us. And yes, and thank you for tagging us. I am going to tag Nefertiti and um, King Zachariah because I think this is a it's a partner thing. You got to have somebody to um, question. Is that a, a, a man and woman? Yeah, I showed you Nefertiti and King Zachariah today. Oh, okay, okay. That would be good because then they can ask each other the opposite. Yeah. Like she can ask him girls and yeah, yeah like ooh, that'd be good. Yeah, I'm so I'm I'm tagging you, Nefertiti and King Zachariah. Um, if I think of somebody else, I will definitely put you in the description box below, or I'm gonna put you down here um, for for the tag. But this is definitely, definitely great. I, um, it was fun. The food was delicious. Now, if you want to get a hold of Tanini Eats um, ASMR, her butter sauce, um, her link is in the description box below. You guys, you don't want to forget about her um, lemon rain dust, too. I season everything with her Cajun sauce. Um, She's running specials right now, but you need to go to the website and check her out. Make sure you use hashtag Picky Palettes to get you your discount at checkout okay so it would be greatly appreciated um she got some new items coming out that i'm really really excited for so you guys go over there and show nini um some some love and some support remember all the mention channels in the description box for me please guys go over there and let them know that i sent you Drop a rose in their comments, not my comments. Drop a rose in their comments so that they know that you came from hashtag picky palettes, okay? And we don't ever want to miss the opportunity to welcome all the new picky palettes in the building. Thank you so, so, so much for coming up over here, subscribing to the channel. Kicking it with your girl. And kicking it. (laughs) Over here, it is a vibe. Okay, and to all my returning um, picky palettes, you know that I love you. I love you, and today I love you some more. I truly appreciate all your likes, comments, shares, and your prayers. And you already know it is a vibe. And if you are watching this video for the very first time, hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that little bell icon that way you will be notified each and every time i upload a video please and thank you don't forget to go over and check out my tiktok we're going to team grow 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 up over there yes shout out to your tiktok go on girl Yes, uh, please follow my TikTok. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle content. Um, I'm on the road to a thousand, posting more and more with the help and direction and encouragement of this one. Um, so my TikTok is Phoenicia J. F I N N I S H A J. When we get to editing, call me. I'm gonna put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, call you. Mm-hmm. Also, I, I, I can just put it right here. Yeah. Who? Phoenicia Jack. Ain't no hyphen or no special symbols or whatever. No. So when, when you saying it, I'll put it there. It, it, while you saying it, it'll be it'll be flashing in their face. How about that? I got a pretty unique name, so I don't have to add any periods, underscores, numbers. Period. Period. <laughs> 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 <Parent. laughs> So, 
we are going to go ahead and scoot up out the way. Thank you so, so much for coming up over here. I really, truly appreciate you. But on that note, you know what time it is. And if you're happy and you know it, what do you know about that? And as the saying goes, you can like me, you can hate me, you can love me, you can totally ignore me. But whatever you do, you introduce me to somebody. But before all that, you do you. Because I'm damn so doing me. Boom. Peace, love, and blessings to each and every last one of you. And remember, living is giving and giving is living. Give this video a share. Deuces!